Oh, I totally forgot. What is it? Aqua. Oh. One to four player game. Aqua. Okay. Restart. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Board Game Buzz today. My name is Carly. And I'm Kim. And today we're going to be reviewing the one to four player game Aqua from the Op. In Aqua, you are going to be creating a beautiful, um, <laughs> I can't talk. In Aqua, you are using these coral tiles to create habitats and a biodiverse community to, to attract small animals and ultimately these large animals. Before we go into our thoughts on this game, though, we're going to be giving you a really kind of general overview of how this game plays, and then we'll jump back here and share our thoughts on Aqua. In Aqua, one of our players are competing to build the most biodiverse habitat to attract all forms of marine life. The game plays over 17 rounds, and each round consists of three phases. Growing coral, creating habitats and reefs, and establishing biodiversity. Growing coral allows you to take coral tile from the market and place it so at least one of its sides connects with a matching color coral. After doing this, corals with matching colors create habitats and reefs. Habitats with three corals of the same color will attract the same color of creature, whereas large groupings of coral will create reefs. After placing small animals, you will establish biodiversity by attracting large animal tiles, but only if the animal fits the shape of the animal tiles directly under it. While it is not mandatory to attract a large animal, they will score some valuable points at the end of the game. The round is over when everyone has claimed a coral tile and a new round will begin. At the end of 17 rounds, you will score up all your tiles, including covered ones. You will begin by scoring your large animals, followed by all of your small animals, your reefs and ecosystems in play, and whoever has the most points wins. All right, so hopefully that overview kind of gives you a general idea of how this game plays. We're gonna go ahead and jump into our thoughts, starting with everything that we really liked about this game. Um, Kim, do you wanna, wanna start? Want me to start? Um, how about you start? Okay, <laughs> sure. I um, made a decision, you like start. <laughs> things I really liked about this game. A lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh, spoiler alert, I really liked this game. Um, I like tile laying games in general. So, and this is like a tile placement, like domino kind yes. of effect. Only one of the colors has to match. Oh, excuse oh, you, buddy. <laughs> um, when you are placing them. So it's not like it has to be matching on both sides to place a tile. So I liked um, that it wasn't like impossible to like yes. to create mm -hmm. them. And I also really liked that it wasn't, I wasn't just trying to create these habitats um, with the core. So these are the coral tiles and you use the coral tiles to build habitats that attract the small animals and then uh, or reefs so I liked that I had the option to like I am building a habitat that is gonna help get me points and ultimately help me create more biodiversity or I can create these reefs that will also get me points so I liked that it wasn't like it was just one simple thing that there were these different things that I could think about in terms of placing the tiles to attract the different animals. I agree with Kim. I love how everything you do, like it equals points. And mm -hmm. I love my, my, my favorite, 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 favorite part about this game is that you are incentivized to build up. Because when you build, there are some games that when you build on top of something, you mm -hmm. lose the points that are underneath. Yes. This game, it doesn't do that. When you yep. build upon, that, that's exactly what you're doing. You just keep mm -hmm. stacking those points upon points. So you're very much incentivized to build to build up your ecosystem, mm -hmm. to attract those animals, to get those bigger points, because you know that everything, everything that you play, that you build upon, you're not just going to lose out on those points. So that mm -hmm. was probably my favorite part about this game, because like we have played multiple other tile laying games, um, which I won't mention it right now, because I'm thinking I'm going to do a follow up video mm -hmm. for this one. Um, but there are other tile laying games where you do build, but you're not. I don't feel quite as incentivized to build yeah. Mm -hmm. or yeah you like lose out on points once you build so I love how this one does the opposite you very much want to build you want to attract those animals you want to try to get these these big um, points up here at the top of the board mm -hmm. yeah and then the puzzle of actually like getting your habitats to um, create the biodiversity to create the mm -hmm. like 
the larger animal tiles was actually like more challenging than I think I would have initially yes. anticipated mm -hmm. too. And I, I enjoyed that challenge. And I also liked the fact of like, I can choose, once I have this, I can choose to take this small, like cute little animal that gives me five points, mm -hmm. or I can pass on it and try to like do try one of these the, other ones. Yeah, like, it kind of has that push your luck element yes, a little like, bit. This one's worth 15, that's 10 more than this one. But am I going to successfully be able to build that shape to build on top of? I like how you have to make that choice like at that moment. Yeah. You know, you're like, mm -hmm. okay, do I want to claim it or do I want to hold out? Yep. And so you like have to, it it adds a really fun tension. My his hands like <laughs> <laughs> So I liked I liked that and I also liked yeah that you get you score the big tile, you score what's underneath, and then you get to score your habitats. There's lots of different yeah, everything almost everything you're doing is going to get you points. And it comes with so many of the little I forget what they're called, but they're these little tiles that you can kind of swap in and out. Um, they're the um, ecosystem tiles. Ecosystem, okay, ecosystem tiles. I like how it comes with so many different ones. It makes it, you can kind of change up every single mm -hmm. game. And I like how even the rule book, it comes with designated like, okay, your first game, play this. Then your second game, try this way. Or your third game, try this way. So it comes with lots of different kind of, I don't want to say scenarios, but almost. Like, no, they are, they, are. Are they scenarios? Yeah. So that actually, like, I played this game and I really liked it. And then I... Like played, so I played the base game. I'm like, oh, this is a fun game. I like it. But then, like, when I realized that there are so many of these different ecosystem tiles that you can like change out the game, it just made the replay value and that just like skyrocket. <laughs> skyrocket. And then, as I was reading the rules more, like, in, or the so I learned the base game, right? And then I le learned the the variants that it comes with. It comes with like a family variant and it comes with, sorry, I get really excited about that. I'm like, really, the family variant? It comes with a family variant. It comes with an advanced variant. Um, and then it comes like with these achievements that you can do. I forgot about the achievements. And the solo, like the solo. This is the first game I actually sat down. I'm like, I want to play a solo. A solo game. I learned the solo and then like all these scenarios. Oh, so there are scenarios. Yes, yeah. that you can go through and then like based off of your achievements, you can try to like, I don't know. It's just, I'm like, this is so cool. <laughs> and on top of that, it comes with challenges, comes with challenges and, modifications. and modifications. And then finally, like, just this, I like it when games do this. It comes with this little animals of aqua. So it tells you about the different, like, aqua, like, the animals here. So And then on top so of cool. that, on the back, which I, this is something that I love, uh -huh. is when they show, like, if you ever have a question about a tile, oh, yes. just come to the back and it, it completely explains how each tile works and how each one scores, which I really appreciate. So like, the, so the replay value of the game and just like, it, I'm like, this is so, it was so well thought out. I was, I was like really impressed and it made me feel like super excited. I'm like, wow, like, I don't know. I love it when games do that. And it's like, I'm getting all these different opportunities to like keep enjoy, keep playing a game I enjoy, but like that adds, like a new experience yeah. each time you play and that is that's really fun for me yeah <laughs> <laughs> and obviously the vincent dutre artwork it looks beautiful on the table yeah if, mm -hmm. if you're just like walking by it's one of those games where you're like oh what's that like i think yeah. it just really pops it looks really really pretty i like colorful games yeah. <laughs> I like i like things that look pretty and colorful um and bright and this definitely has that i feel like the theme also comes through in this game too. It's yeah. not just like a basic tiling game. Like I actually kind of feel like I um, am like building, I don't know, especially I guess with the reefs for whatever reason, like when I am building my reef, I like probably focus on reefs way more than I should, but I like <laughs> building the reefs, like expanding it with the color. I'm like, ooh, let's add another purple and make it a pretty reef mm -hmm. and, um, and bringing the animals into my, my habitats to bring biodiversity. And the other thing that is cool, sorry, I can't tell I really like this game, <laughs> that is fun and cool is that these big animal tiles are double-sided. So you, so can, you pick can pick what which one animal you want, you want yeah. to bring into your do ecosystem. Do I want the dolphin or do I want the manatee? Like My sister would have chosen the manatee. Yeah, so it's like, okay, and that's just, I don't know, I'm like, thank you for doing that because that's cool. Like they could have just They could have just kept it the same yeah, size. They yeah. could have. But they chose to like make it better. <laughs> <laughs> they chose
goes to make it better. I can fully approve. I do. <laughs> One of the other things that Carly and I, I'm talking for Carly right Go now. Go ahead. Appreciate <laughs> is the insert. That comes with, comes the, base with game. the game. Yeah. Like, it fits it all so it nicely. It does fit it really nicely. Like I can put, we can put the, um, the, the coral tiles in one and then we can put the and the small animal tiles in the other and it just yeah it's just nice something that i really appreciate about this game is like right from the beginning you have all of all of these big tiles right mm -hmm. up at the top of the board and you see how they're going to be scoring at the end of the game yeah so right from the very beginning you have a very clear end goal that you're working towards yeah which i really appreciate i feel like mm -hmm. some games you know it kind of takes you a couple rounds to kind of start to have a direction, right? Oh, or yes. to kind of like figure out what mm -hmm. direction. I think from the very first play, mm -hmm. you look at, you're able to look at what the board, at, you know, the certain tiles you have laid out, mm -hmm. the certain scoring conditions, and you can right from the beginning start. And you have that very clear end goal. You can say, you know what, I'm just gonna go right for earning this really big point, mm -hmm. right? And so you're trying your best to get the certain colors you need in order to attract the animals, and then you can attract the colors. So I feel like there's really not a turn that's lost where you're mm -hmm. trying to have a direction. Because yeah. I feel like sometimes, like in Cascadia, I adore Cascadia, but there's still sometimes they're like, especially at the beginning, you don't really know. Okay, okay, should I focus on rivers this turn, or should I focus on mountains, or should I focus? It isn't kind of until you kind of start getting into it a little bit that you're like, okay, I am going to focus on rivers. I am going to focus on this. This from the very beginning, you can just start and you have a very clear end goal. Anything else that you liked? Um, yeah. So another okay. thing that I really like about this game is that it's a great like family weight game. Yes. Um, it's actually like I brought it home with me to play with my family and to play with my kids and they were able to pick it up and they like really enjoyed playing it too. I want to spend time with my kids, but I want to be able to like enjoy <laughs> my time that I'm spending with them and not feel like, oh, this is like just trying to like grind through mm -hmm. ima like imaginary play I'm not good at. Yeah. <laughs> so like- <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, like trying to grind through that, but like having a game that we can all enjoy and play mm -hmm. together, like it's, a win-win because they're having fun and they get to feel like they're spending time with mom and I am having fun playing a game that I love and like also like spending time with my kids. Okay so we're gonna pivot a little bit now and we're gonna kind of chat a little bit about maybe things that we didn't like about the game or things that we could potentially see others not liking. Mm -hmm. um, and for me personally I kind of wanted to chat a little bit about the scoring. Something about the scoring still it, it's it's a little bit confusing, uh -huh. a little bit for me, um, and I don't quite know why. Did you have any issues with the scoring or? I did it maybe the first time I played, but when I have played it with other people and like taught it to other people, I have seen that it has been. Like, I think it's like the people struggle with the reefs the most. Yes, the... like and how the reefs yes. score. And, like for me, I'm. Sorry, my stomach is making <laughs> noises. Stomach. Like, <laughs> like to me, that wasn't that con confusing. But I think the reefs, like I think, there is a lot to kind of like think about. You're only gonna score purple tile, or like you'll only get the two points for for this one if you have this. If you don't have this on your board, you're not gonna score that. Like yes, because this allows you to score two points for every purple. So if I have a purple on here, I'm not. I'll get that three points for that, but I'm not going to get the two bonus points if I don't have this for every purple tile that I yes. have and so on. So I can see like how that is a, like a little bit like really like mathy and trying to think about that and like the reefs too. Like if you have like three reefs touching one habitat, but you're not touching the other one, like then it, it yes, it's like, did I, did I score right? And I guess I did have that a little bit like, did I? You have to like double check to make sure that you're like counting everything. That was just my biggest thing with the game was the scoring. Like I said, I want to be able to play a game and like just have very clear like what I'm working for and like what all the end game scoring is. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, at the end of every game of this, I'm always like, okay, wait, now how do I score this? Or like as I'm playing, I'm like, wait, does this mean that I would score this or means I wouldn't? Mm -hmm. Like it just, it kind of keeps messing with my brain for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And then my main dislike or like thing that didn't work for me is like the first player token. And it's actually out here. Is one of the tiles that you can pick instead of um, picking a tile 
you can choose to take this for so like maybe there's something out there that you don't like as much and you're like I'm just gonna take this I'm gonna wait to see what everyone else picks before I grab my mm -hmm. tile and then I get to go first next time which like is nice it really doesn't work with a two-player game it doesn't work yeah yeah like, it doesn't work with the two I mean I mean, it, it could, could, but it just feels it pointless. It felt pointless. Yeah. yeah. I would prefer just to pass the first player token around. Yeah. And, like, have it be like, okay, you get to go first this time and whatnot. That, like, and that's how I would, I would do it. That was just the one thing that, like, I just, like, even when we were playing at four, it just never really seemed like it was something that anyone, like, mm -hmm. maybe occasionally they would grab. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's a nice option to have out there. I did have one more thing. Mm -hmm. I know that, like, we, we, I, like, I love the Vincent Dutre artwork, and it does look super beautiful on the board. Mm -hmm. However, when you're playing, there are times where it can get a little bit confusing mm -hmm. because for whatever reason, I don't know if I'm like slightly dyslexic or not, but all the colors would sometimes blur together for me. Mm -hmm. And like the fact that the animals like were the exact same color, like I liked how these were slightly darker. So when you placed them on top, like it was very clear, like this oh, was like yeah, a big animal. Yeah. But I wish that these animals would have either been a slightly different color or some like a, a like slightly less dark or uh -huh. like a different shade of dark than this. Yeah. Just so they kind of stood off a little bit more because it would kind of, I don't know, when you had a big board with all these animals placed on, it was kind of hard to differentiate just at a glance, the different the difference between like a coral and like the, the um, So you're saying like horse. the animal on the tile should have been a different color? Yeah, like yeah. Some, something to kind of differentiate a little bit because I just found myself often kind of blurring, like I'd be like, oh, I have, a lot of like pink coral over there. I'm like, oh wait, no, that's not coral. That's actually a seahorse. Like mm -hmm. that's the animal. So it just, it kind of blurred a little bit for me. It wasn't too bad, but that was just something I thought I would mention is mm -hmm. I felt like the colors were kind of blurring a little bit. Well, he's officially eating my hair like crazy. So let's go ahead and jump into um, final scoring. So Kim, what, <laughs> what would you give? I'm guessing that you're probably gonna be higher than me. So what is your score for Aqua? I'm giving this game a nine. A nine? Yeah, I am. <laughs> love it. I, this is a nice You've game. adored this I, game. Yeah I, yeah. I love this game and I really love, like, I feel like I will play this one with my family just as much as I play Splendor with my kids. Like, it's, Wow. It's, okay. It's, and Splendor is like your game. Splendor is well, like your family's like, Yeah. Game. It's yeah. our family. It's like, and like I said, like when I like discovered that rule book and like I had a fun time playing this game solo and like that's not, I'm not a solo gamer. But because it like, and I like, I like campaign games. I like mm -hmm. story games. I like having like a challenge and things that I'm doing. So like that also elevated the game for me. Like yes. a lot, having all those different options. Probably. Yeah. I didn't really have that many <laughs> negative things to say about this game. So that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, so Kim's coming with the nine. I'm yep. coming in slightly lower. I'm, I'm going to be giving Aqua a seven out of 10. And the reason why I'm coming in slightly lower is because the scoring, I feel like should be be a little bit more intuitive personally mm -hmm. and there's um, a handful I mean obviously I love tile placement games it's like mm -hmm. one of my favorite things so I I have so many and I love so many and I feel like I feel like I still prefer some of the other tile laying mm -hmm. games to this one um, but I do think this is a good game I obviously Kim loved this yep. game so if anything that we talked about you know sp um, specifically and like what we liked about it if it mm -hmm. really is speaking to you I would absolutely recommend trying this game because I do think that it does a lot of interesting stuff like I said my favorite my favorite part about this game is how it does incentivize you to build, which mm -hmm. I, I really, really do enjoy that about this game. So because G Kim gave Aqua a 9 out of 10, this is yet another <laughs> little Queen Bee Award that we will be awarding Aqua um, over here on the channel. Definitely, definitely check out this game if you are interested, if you like tile placement, if you like, obviously, Vincent Dutre artwork, mm -hmm. good games to play with your family. I think this is definitely one that you Ocean need to theme. look into. Ocean theme. Yeah. Um, this is definitely one that you should be looking into um, and seeing if it, if it is a right fit for you and your family. All right, well, so those were all of our thoughts on Aqua. Thank you so much for watching. And also wanted to give a huge shout out to the op for sending us this copy to review for you today. If you have played this game and enjoy it, or if you have any thoughts on this game, mm -hmm. please let us know what you personally think of Aqua in the comments below. But until next time, we hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you later. Going he was going hungry? crazy. You're going crazy. Are you hungry? You were going so crazy.